What's going on, Nintendo enthusiasts? Here I am now at the booth of Has Been Heroes with Kai, who's a developer on the game. Uh, Kai, so can you give us a little overview of what is Has Been Heroes? Uh, well, Has Been Heroes is a strategic roguelike game. Uh, it's played on three lanes where you play as uh, a group of heroes. And uh, it's about uh, the story wise, it's uh, this band of epic heroes who used to be like really epic and uh, defeated everything in the kingdom, kingdoms like dragons and uh, witches and everything. But now they're grown old and so they're the has been heroes. Uh, so that's, that's the kind of the premise of the story. And uh, yeah, they meet up with this young rogue who joins their band and uh, they get the final quest from their king. Uh, which is to wah, 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 take the princess daughters to school. And uh, so it's kind of like this humoristic premise, uh, but the actual game is very challenging. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's a grueling uh, uh, game of uh, you know, strategically maneuvering your guys, like uh, swapping lanes, doing melee attacks, using spells, uh, combining the spells uh, with each other, and uh, yeah, just. Uh, your goal is to defeat all the incoming uh, evil monsters like skeletons, undeads, uh, skelet uh, sorry, skeletons, uh, zombies, and yeah. Everything. Yeah, it's a it's a very unique gameplay. Like I've never seen anything like it. It's kind of like a blending RPG with uh, almost like action adventure combo. So, like, wh wh where did you get the inspiration to make a game like this? Uh, well, we basically how this ga game came to life is we had a small team at Frozen Bite. Uh, they just wanted to make something a little bit different. They had a challenging game in mind, and uh, the roguelike games uh, of, of the past kind of inspired that. And uh, yeah, uh, we prototyped a few uh, different types of games, and uh, at one point we just had something that really clicked with the team, and uh, yeah, that's how Has Been Heroes was born. Uh, they were hooked on the mechanics, so yeah. Now, the game Has Been Heroes is not only coming to Switch, it's coming to all platforms, at the end of the month, by the way. Um, was this always kind of the intention from the beginning, or uh, because the Switch has only recently launched, right, a week ago, uh, was that kind of a last minute addition to bring it to Switch? Uh, I wouldn't say last minute, but it was, uh, I mean, when we set out to do the game with the Game Trust, we always thought about, like, Nintendo had announced that they're making a console called the NX, yeah. so we didn't, you know, we thought about it as like an option like in the future, like we'll see what it is and you know, Nintendo usually comes up with some great stuff so once they announce that it's uh, Switch and what it is, uh, so yeah, it was pretty clear from that point on that we just wanted to be on the console. And, uh, and now the Switch is a very unique platform, right? We've got multiplayer right out of the box, HD rumble, portability, all these great things. Uh, did that uniqueness in the hardware affect any kind of uh, design elements or when you ported to the Switch, did you kind of take advantage of any features the Switch has? Uh, well, we are supporting HD Rumble, for example. Uh, so when you play the game and you cast spells, you can feel them move across the screen. That's pretty cool. And I think in terms of design, uh, no other changes were made, but the Switch is really cool for Has Been Heroes, uh, just because it's portable, uh, as, as well as you know, hooking up to the TV. So the portable mode is just uh, something that really works well for this game. You can take it on the bus or plane or whatever, and uh, yeah. It was easier, you know, to have a game like this on the Switch, which is portable, versus the other portables out there, like 3DS. You know, completely different unit, very, uh, very different, or even a PS Vita, for example. Well, the Switch is—it's not just a portable; it's a, it's kind of a hybrid, and it's, it's a pretty powerful console. So yeah, it was. Uh, the other ones we didn't consider because of the specs, maybe sort of. And uh, yeah, Switch is something that you know, it runs really well. So yeah. I've heard from other developers here on the show floor um, at PAX that the Switch has been ridiculously easy to port and develop for. Uh, do you agree with that statement? Is there like a any um, any uh, surprises that you had when you ported over to the Switch in a good way or even in a bad way? I mean, the good surprise was that it was really like well thought out from a developer perspective. Uh, like everything on the back end, uh, all the documentation, you know, just how everything works, uh, Nintendo really put an effort into making it developer friendly. So yeah, we've been extremely happy just working on the Switch. Yeah. And could you say anything at this time, like uh, given that it was so easy and that the Switch is kind of easy to do and you get the portability, uh, do you see yourselves porting any other games from Frozen Byte over to the Switch or is that not really talked about right now? Uh, 
I think we'll, we will be supporting it with future games. I'm, I'm not sure about porting like all the games, but yeah, we are like very certain, uh, not confirming any titles yet, but yeah, future titles from Frozen Byte, uh, it's a very big uh, chance that they'll be on the Switch. Well, that's great to hear. And that's what uh, all our Nintendo enthusiasts are going to enjoy hearing as well. <laughs> uh, now, is there anything that I might have not uh, asked that you think uh, our viewers should know about Has Been Heroes? Any, anything that really stands out that you know we should pick this up in four, four weeks, three weeks? Uh, well, it's a dangerous game in the sense that if you play it, you're going to get hooked on the game, and then you're going to keep returning to it for just to play one more run. So. And you said it was very hard, right? Yeah, it's, it's very hard. You die a lot in the game, but then uh, every time you die, it kind of advances you in the game as well. You know, it like uh, You unlock more items and spells uh, and enemies, uh, even if you die. So it kind of the, the variety of spells and everything increases the more you die. And, you know, it's, it's a game that, you know, you put it down, I, I died, but then, but then, uh, then you're like, I'll, I'll just try one more time because it's it's a pretty fast, uh, fast game to play. It doesn't take very long to play, like one session. Uh, but yeah, you can, you know, there's content for, uh, I, I would say, minimum like 40 hours to beat the game, and then for like a good player. Yeah. I mean, right now we've been playing it here uh, together with Joel, also from Frozen Bite. Yeah. We've played it for, I think. 13, 14 hours, we have a completion rate of 35%. Oh, wow. And we're devs, so I mean, we should be beating the game like really easy, but no, it's... Uh, so this it's is going to be a very meaty game for those who, who are looking for something to really stick their teeth into. Yeah. This could be the one. All right, so uh, do check that out. It comes out, I got your little flyer here. March 28th, Has Been Heroes, it's going to be available. Uh, is, it, is it digital only, or do you have a physical release? Uh, it's uh, both. Uh, retail is uh, exclusive to GameStop. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's like the cheapest uh, retail on the Switch. It's like uh, 19.99. So, oh, that's yeah, so great value there. 20 bucks for 19.99, and you get to hold uh, your own physical copy and expand your Switch library. Well, th uh, thank you so much, Kai, for uh, taking the moment to talk with me, and uh, we're looking forward to picking up Has Been Heroes in a few weeks. All right, see you, everyone.